we have to do today is we have to do geometrical patterns and in in geometrical patterns I can, as you can see the first question the first question tells me that account the number of squares in in the given figure now how do we solve this kind of question so basic idea about this kind of question is that we have to identify number of geometrical patterns like squares in the given combined square so you, a bigger number would be given to you and uh, sorry a bigger figure would be given to you and what we will do is in that particular big figure we will identify we will identify uh, how many squares are there how many rectangles are there depending on what question is telling us to do so in in this particular uh, case what happens is that uh, let me identify a small question for you okay i give you question number i give you question number 4 without telling anything try to solve question number 4 and try to give me answer for question number 4 okay if you are saying b if you are saying d if you are saying some other answer the problem is nobody asked me how to solve this kind of questions and i also didn't tell it now i'm asking a few questions i would like you to give me an answer about that how did you count it how many of you counted the number of triangles and squares without naming the vertices here there are many vertices how many of you just just type this answer in the chat box how many of you tried to count count out the number of triangles and the number of squares without writing the names of the vertices and writing the name by writing the names i mean a b c d e f g h likewise whosoever has written i did like that has also given me i don't know the name because the name has been given as irrational good so if you have done by naming the vertices that's that's a right option to do it if you have not named the vertices that's not a right version to do it so try to understand how i will solve the question so to solve this question what i'll do is i will start marking suppose this is a and this is b this is c this is d this is e and this is f this is g and this is h so to do this kind of question you always have to mark the vertices after marking the i have not marked three vertices here so so this gh this is i this is j and this is k and this is l so i have marked several vertices over here now you have to calculate how many triangles are there and how many squares are there so if i calculate triangles calculate the number of triangles starting with a so you find that adj is a triangle you also find that you also find that adf is a triangle so you write like this adj you write adf similarly one triangle here the first calculate the smaller triangle so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so you can write like this what you will you will do is you will write the names of the smaller triangles so you will have better idea now how many triangles you are leaving here you are leaving 1 2 3 so 12 triangles you are leaving here and then you will go for the bigger triangle so what is the bigger triangle adf is a bigger triangle now if you look at this square the square is something like this 
So I have to calculate how many um, triangles, uh, sorry, circles are there. So what I have named this, I have named this D I E. I have named this J F L, and I have named this G K H. Now, how many triangles are there? So if I start writing the names of the triangle, the number of triangles would be. If I look at this half, in this half, the number of triangles would be one, two, three, four. Then a bigger triangle, this five. Now, <clears throat> if I look at this half, one, two, three, four, so eight. A bigger triangle, this so ten. Five here, five there, ten. Then this triangle will be taken. So eleven. This triangle would be taken. So twelve. And this is F. So what I am writing here, name would be J. G F is one triangle. G F K is another triangle. F K H is another triangle. And F L H is another triangle. Then this bigger triangle, which is G F H. Similarly, on the other side. i have let me write here let me write here this is d j d f then d i f then i f e then f e l and then i have this bigger triangle which is d f e so 5 here 5 here 10 then i have this triangle so this triangle i am writing here d f g then i have this triangle which is e f h so how many triangles here i have 12 triangles here and is there any other triangle which i am missing out so likewise how many triangles i have here so i if i include this i have written here a d z a d f now i will have triangle from this side i'll have triangle l e c and i will have triangle the bigger triangle here which will be e f c what i'm trying to do is what i'm trying to show you over here is that how do you count the triangles and to count the triangles what i do is first i find out the square the procedure is first i i have taken the square in that square i have tried to identify how many different triangles are there i got different triangles as 12 here 5 here 5 here and 2 here so i got different triangles as uh uh 12 years now what i will do is i will try to find out uh triangles with the help of different lines of a square so one triangle is here so till now i have identified 12 here one here and the second one is here and the third one with a and this is this is the third one so three here then what i will do one here second here and third here so three here then this triangle is one this triangle is one and then the complete triangle is one so 9 here 12 plus 9 is 28 now what i will do is i will in in this particular uh uh uh, uh, uh square i did not take four triangles the four triangles would be one which i write here g b d plus um then what you do is you take from this side which is d e f then what you do is so 12 plus 9 21 23 23 i have identified The 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 triangle is getting bifurcated, so this particular triangle itself remains a triangle. So that becomes nearly twenty five. Now, um,
now what happens is in this particular square let me um, it, it's just muddled up now let me just clear the idea for you because everything is getting muddled up so what happens is uh, first i draw this square in this square i found out uh 12 particular triangles then from the triangle itself there would be two components which will be suppose i name this i i name this b and i name this o i name this uh, let me name it a c d e g h k f j so what happens is 12 12 simple triangles would be uh, as i told you this, this this side this side this side what i have already told you so there would be 12 simple triangles now um, from 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 mm-hmm. so 12 simple triangles like this now what happens is if i start taking two components of the triangle so if i take two components of the triangle one component here two component here three component here four component here so that becomes four so one component here one component here one component here that becomes three seven now what happens is one component here one component here that becomes nine so 12 plus 9 is how much 21 now triangles which are made of four components so four components is i b d one component here the second one is b d g third that the third component is d g i fourth component is g i b so g i b then fifth component is a c o the sixth component is c o e so six components at, from another place so 12 plus 9 is 21 21 plus 6 is um uh, 27 and one bigger scale which is a c e so one scale here so you get how much you get 27 plus 1 28 triangles now let me calculate squares for you if you are not understanding let me know i'll repeat it once again for you don't worry if you are not getting these kind of problems if if possible we will do only one type of question uh which is geometrical patterns because this is very very important you will get at least two questions from here so if you are not getting it uh please let me know suppose this is b this is uh, k this is d this is j this is o this is f this is i this is h this is j so what i get is uh two components squares having two components are b k o j then k o d f ye half half wala so this is one this is two this is three this is four so j o i h and f o h g so these are the four squares that you have in the um in in the half components uh the other square which is difficult to find find out over here is that square is try to understand if you look at here if i remove everything here one square is b d g i which is visible here so most of the people will write five squares the one square which is diffi- difficult to find out over here is you look at this th- this if i mark as c this as b this as d and this as o this particular square is very difficult to find it out over here look at what i am doing on the screen and where i am finding out the square so this particular square c d o b makes my sixth square so the answer would be d over here so this is how we have to solve the question i will give one more question and um, well, let's do the first question now all of you let's do the first question now 
if you are not understanding let me know i'll repeat once again see i i was not looking at the chat it doesn't matter whether it was 30 how do you count 30 okay let me solve this first question for you because most of you have given me the answer now let me mark it so this is a this is b this is c this is d this is e this is f g h i j this is k l m n o p q r s t u v w x y suppose something like this now i have marked everything now i first thing that i always do is my approach is that if i start counting the components most of the time i forget to add the bigger square so my first thing to do is i write the bigger square at the first so i write a e y u as the first square so that i don't forget about it second approach is then going into component if i get into component 1 2 3 component means see this particular square has been separated into three or separated into different number of a square by various lines so try to understand the square is formed by separation of one line what do i mean by separation of one line so this line bg here and fg here similarly with bg you have one more separation which is ch if you move to ch there is one more separation which is di if you move to di there is one more separation into ej so this is in column direction or in vertical direction in horizontal direction if you look at ab the next separation is fg if you move to fg the next separation is kl and likewise so this is called one component so by one component i am getting 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 so i am not writing names of all because i started writing names of everything in the last question and it became uh, muddled up all the all the way so one component you have 16 squares one component means it is made by lines which are adjacent to each other so you look a b f g are adjacent to each other now i will remove this adjacent line both vertically and horizontally so how many squares i am getting now i'll write the names so third made with four components so why four components 1 2 3 4 these four components gives me one particular square so what's the name a c m k is first one then what i do this particular line i shift here i will not take this adjacent one i'll take this one so the second one is b d n l i will not take this one i will go here which is c e o m so three here you should understand that three lines together one two two lines are fixed and one line from this side one two three are giving me three particular squares so what i will do i will keep this line as it is instead of this line now i will take this line then i will take this line so how many squ uh, no, squares we will have i will square i will have 3 into 3 nine squares i will have if you want me to write names of all nine squares if you are not understanding please write it in the chat box i will write it then i will take squares with nine components so you should understand that one component two component nine component how this is going this is one square sorry four components so this is two square this is three square so what is happening nine component means 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so how many squares will i get i will get four squares like this so nine component this i can write it for you it is a d 
S P. This is the first one. The second one is B E. What is this? This is um, T. So B E T P is the second one. Now let me go here. So you will have F I X U. And the fourth one I am writing here. It would be G J Y V. So four <coughs> four here. So sixteen here, nine here, four here. So <clears throat> sixteen plus nine plus four. So with one component I have taken, with four component I have taken, with nine comp uh, components I have taken. After nine, one square, two square, three square. What is left out? Four square. Four square is equal to sixteen, which I am getting here. So that's how you come to know that whether you are left out with any square or not. So sixteen plus nine plus four plus one. How much it is? It comes out to be thirty. So how much you get? You get thirty. So thirty is the right answer. <clears throat> Now let me go to another question. So solve question number two. Dan, you are giving me nine. Few are giving me. Shitiz is giving me nine, 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 nine. Ah, huh? seven, nine, eleven. Different answers. Okay, let me wait for this. Let me wait for this. I give you two more minutes to answer. Okay, still the same story. Nine, eleven, nine, eleven. Going on. Let me solve this question for you. So what will I do? I'll start marking it. So this is A, this is B, this is C, this is D, this is E, this is F, this is G, this is H. I don't think I have left any particular edge for you. Now what do I have to calculate? Quadrilaterals. Quadrilaterals require how many different edges or how many different sides four so i have to calculate something where four sides are there so try to understand how i do it try always start from marking those quadrilaterals which are very very obvious in nature so you look at here there is a trapezium here almost looks like a trapezium a b c d So the first and the most obvious one which looks in front of me is A B C D. Obviously, A B C D opposite to it would be A D E F. This was the most obvious one which I marks, which I mark. Now look at here. There is a rectangle made over here which is looking very very obvious, which is A B D E. so i have written a b d e now if i have written a b d e why not instead of going from d to e there is a direct line going from d to f so it means that it makes a quadrilateral so this was my third one the fourth one is a b d remains same but from d there are two lines so d i have written now i'll write df now if i make if i saw ab df you come you 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 know that this df has two parts so if i if you start from d you can go till f if you start from d you can stop at h also so instead of writing a b d f i can also write a b d h so this is the fifth one the exact story from the other side from the different uh, side so i will write c d h a so sixth one would be c d h a instead of writing c d h a i can write c d instead of stopping at h i can go till f i can write it c d f a now from d there are two lines so d f and d e i have only taken d f so i will write eighth one as c d e a this is my eighth one now let me stop from i started from a then b was included then i went to c let me start from d so if i start from d 
I have ninth one as D E A G. So D E A G, tenth one as D E A D E A C. D E A C. So D E A C. Is D E A C included anywhere? No. So these are the th three things. The next one can be D E or sorry, the next one can be next one can be D E A F, which I have written over here. So how many I have written? I have written 10. 11th one can be D H A G. So D H A G, the middle one. So there are how many quadrilaterals I have added? I have added 11 quadrilaterals. This is the answer for you. Now solve question number three. Was there something repeated? I am looking at here. What was repeated? You are saying D E A C was repeated. Okay, I look at it at the end of the class. Don't worry. How many of you are done with this? Let me check. Somebody is saying C, somebody is saying D, somebody is. Most of you are saying C, D. Okay. Most of you are saying C, D. So C is the right answer here. So let me solve this question for you. And by marking different things, this is A, this is B. Or let me start marking it from somewhere else. Let me mark it with a different color altogether. So that A, B, C, D, E, F. Now what do I do? G, H, I, J, K, L. Then these ones. M, N, O, P. So marking is done. Now again, in this kind of question, the concept of components come. So if I talk about components, I will start with most obvious one and the most obvious ones are generally made with the lines which are uh, adjacent to each other. So one, two, three, one, two, three. So how many of them? Two on the one on the top, one on the bottom. So how much you get two here? The top one is I'm, I'm just I'm not writing, but I'm naming it BCD and a, E, F, these are the two one, these are the two. So two I have written here. Now 16 inside. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So 2 plus 16 with one component, I'm getting 18 different. So how many complex, uh, components? One component or this is simplest triangles. So how much do I get? I get 18. Now, if I take any one of them, now concept of triangle is gone in top and bottom. I'm not making anything from this top and bottom anymore. So the concept of triangle will come only in uh, 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 only in this small uh, um, square. So let me make one square for you. And let me check how many different triangles do I make. So I'm naming it once again, B, G, H, A, and M. So how many triangles do I have here? Try to understand. I, will, I have already made this a small triangle. So I will not take adjacent lines. You, you look at here, I will take the first one that I write is A, B, G. This is the first one. 
the second one that i'll write is i'll i have started from this particular uh, vertex i'll keep on shifting one vertex anti clockwise so abg now i'm starting here b g h this is a different triangle so b also covered let me go to g so g h a is a different triangle and let me go through fourth h a b is all together a different triangle so how many of them i am getting here i am getting four different triangles and i have four such squares so this is square number 1 then 2 then or rectangle number 1 2 3 4 so in first rectangle i got got four different triangles like this if i have four different uh, rectangles so 4 into 4 16 i'll get so 18 simplest triangle i got 16 i got with the help of uh two components two components means 1 plus 2 two components added so i am adding this component and this component here i am adding this component and this component now can i get with by adding three components 1 2 3 you know you cannot get uh different uh, triangles but by adding um uh four components you can get it so you look at here from uh, i'm 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 making it here it's like this so it's something like this and what is this this is a this is b this is g h this is i j and if if you look at this this is one particular this so i am adding 1 2 3 4 four components here and i am getting a g j as one of my triangles and one is exactly opposite to it so you look at here a g j is one such triangle so one two and three triangles upwards and three triangles downwards so how much i am getting here six so 18 plus 16 is 34 so 18 plus 16 plus 6 is equal to how much it is 40 so i am getting 40 triangles over here and let me go to squares now how many squares so try to understand let me read the question okay so to do this question uh, we have to assume that these this lengths are same so one square is this uh this is b this is g this is h this is a so b g h a is one triangle and i have four uh, sorry one square so i have into four so i have four such squares where are other squares so other squares are you look at here this i named as m this i named as h this is n so other squares are here m g h and n this is a this is h so m g h n then one square is here this is the second square and this is the third square so four squares i have counted this vertically and 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 four squares like this so 4 plus 3 how many squares here 7 squares so answer is c which is 40 triangles and 7 squares so question number 4 we have already done now we'll solve question number 5 on we'll not solve question number 5 we'll solve question number 9 now okay i've started getting answers of this question most of you when you are writing answer please write the question number also so that i can identify which question you are um, um answering so people are saying b few people are saying d so b d everything is going on over here what do i have to find out i have to find out triangles and parallelograms and okay. Okay, lot. Let me solve this question for you. A lot of time. Let me mark it. So this is A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Then this is H, I, J, K. And then this is L, this is M, this is N, and this is O. 
so i hope i have marked all the yes i have marked everything nothing is left out so if i have to identify triangles i will always start with the simplest one how many simplest triangles you can find it out so simplest triangles would be kjn and kjo so kjn let me write here because the maximum number is 21 so should not go beyond we can write it kjo then where, where do you find the other one the other one is c n b this is small ones these are the ones difficult to identify so c n b and then you have on the other side o e f so o e f then you have here j i l and then you have uh, j i m and after j i l and j i m you have smaller ones b l a similar ones as uh, this c n b n o e f b l a and m f g so m f g so how many of them i got i got eight of them so <clears throat> this was triangle from single component from two components how many of them i am getting so from two components i'll have one component here c d j this this vertical one so c d j and on the other side i have e d j similarly n k o joining these two components so n k o then i have here j l m then i have the below one j a h so as i write j a h you could have identified the other part also which is j h g so how many of them i have six components i have here then so with one component i had with two components i have can i do it with three components so by three components i mean one um then uh, two and then three so b k i looks out to be one particular triangle so why three components i have b k i then i have um k i f then i have from the other side so from here so i can have a uh, triangle such as c j a from this side so c j a and on the other side i have j e g so three components j e g so four of them with four components can i have one so if you look at the bigger one so one i have ne i have never counted this one two three four so with four components i have c d e and i have here a j g so a j g so four here and two here so eight plus six fourteen fourteen plus four eighteen eighteen plus two twenty and the biggest triangle that i <coughs> never took was one two three four five six with six components i have bkf so this is one of them so maximum how much i am getting here i am not ticking here i am getting 21 i have not counted the parallelogram so 21 is the right number of triangles i hope you all understood it now i'll have to mark it once again because i have made everything 
ए बी सी डी ई एफ जी एच आई जे के एल एम एन ओ नाउ फॉर पैरलोग्राम्स व्हाट आई डू फॉर पैरलोग्राम्स वन कंपोनेंट विल नेवर गिव मी पैरलोग्राम सो टू कंपोनेंट्स सो लेट मी स्टार्ट फ्रॉम हियर यू लुक एट हियर वन टू थ्री फोर so c d k b is giving me one parallelogram similarly on the other side d k o e is giving me no no not d d k e f is giving me one second just uh d k f e is giving me then where am i getting i am getting b i h a so i am getting here b i h a and similarly i f h g so i am getting i f g h or h g whatever you say so how many of them i am getting it four similarly i can get it with b k j a with three components 1 2 3 so on the other side so b k j a is one similarly k f j g is the other one similarly c j i b is the third one c j i b is the third one and the fourth one would be j e f i so how many of them i am getting here four one so these are with three components with four components how much i am how many of them i am getting so with four components one two so i will get b f 1 2 3 4 so i will get b f g a i will only get one with four component now there are other parallelograms also which are they these parallelograms are if you look at it very carefully the parallelograms are like this this line this line this line and this line so how many components there are 1 2 3 four five five components so with five components i am getting c d j a on on one side so on other side also i'll get which will be d e g j then if you start from here you will get c j h a c j h a and j e g h so how many of them you are getting four you are getting and then you have two more left out which is c e f b so uh, sorry you have four more two more left out which is c e f b how many components here 1 2 3 4 5 6 with six components so uh, you have with six components one one of them here and then you have c e g a so c e g a which has 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 components so one of them here so how many of them 4 4 8 8 and uh, have i left anything else so i have left n j l b okay i have left this these two i have left here so one and two here so n j l b is one of them and then n o m i is one of them so two more here so these are the direct ones which i left here so 6 2 plus 4 plus 4 4 plus 4 plus 1 then 4 plus 4 then 1 plus 1 how many of them i get i get 17 so 
So 21 and 17, this is the right answer. Okay, so we have done enough questions like this. I'll post this sheet on, 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 on the WhatsApp group. You can solve questions on this basis. Now let me move to another particular topic, which is seating arrangements. So this is the first question. One thing that you need to make clear in your mind is in seating arrangement, what happens is you have to look at the direction in which the objects are facing. Why? Because always it would be written that A is sitting right to B, B is sitting left of C. How does the direction in which the objects are facing matters is like this. Suppose if they are facing a, um, on north side, so if I say that A is sitting left of B, so I'll first mark B and if the person is facing this side, left would be this side and right would be this side. So A has to go somewhere here. But on the very oppo opposite, if somebody is facing south, so in that particular case, what happens is I see that A is sitting left of B and somebody is facing this side, left becomes this side. So A would be sitting here. So you always have to look at the case where the direction of, uh, I mean, direction in which objects are facing are given, uh, are identified by you. Always remember, if no direction is being talked about in the question, like if the question doesn't tell that in which direction objects are facing, the default direction is north direction. If in the question you are not able to find out or the question does not specify explicitly that which direction the objects are facing, I'm again repeating, you have to assume that the objects are facing north direction. But if in any question it has been given to you that the objects are facing east direction, then you have to apply that particular uh, that particular concept. So if somebody is facing east, this is my east, so this becomes my left and this becomes my right. So if B is sitting here, A would be somewhere here and likewise. So that's how you have to focus on seating arrangement questions now if there is any extra thing i'll i'll, I'll help you out in, in 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 the question so this is the first question of seating arrangement first read the question and then try to solve the questions oh well, let me solve this question for you enough time So what happens is, how many people are there? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H are sitting in two lines facing each other. Okay, one, okay, one second. So let me make two lines facing each other. These are the two lines in which eight people are sit sitting together. Each line has four person. A is sitting between G and F and facing towards north. So this side is facing towards north and this side is facing towards south. So what has been told to me? So it has been written in the question itself that A is sitting between G and F facing towards north, opposite to C. So who is sitting opposite or exactly facing C is A. Option would be D option. So A would be here somewhere sitting between G and F. So two options, A, G and F on this side or G and F on this side. Now, if G and F has been given, don't only take that G can be on left hand side and F can be on right hand side. It has not been given clearly. That's why I'm making two different conditions. On the other side, <clears throat> look at here, opposite to C, here is C. And there are two conditions here, B and D or D and B. 
now try to understand h is on the right hand side of d so if i make three people sit like this h would be either here or h would be here so if i keep h here and and i keep d here d becomes left of h um so h is just right of once again i'm i'm just getting um, once again h is not here h is somewhere here so h is just on the right of g so h would be here so i'm 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 just writing it down so it it would be like this once again this i misread it so if h is on the right of g h would be here so my final answer would be on this side it will be uh b a uh, sorry f a g h this is something like this and uh, c is sitting between d and b here you don't know whether b is sitting on the right of d or 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 d is sitting on the right of b so answer would be b or d you don't know here option would be d option here now the next one is in which pair of the following second person is sitting at the left of the first person so if i take f a a is on the right of f that's a wrong answer g a is the right answer because on the left of g this g a is the right answer now let me go to question number 4 and let me solve it for you so question number 4 tells me who is facing north so you know that in facing north c is not there b is not there e is not there only h is facing north because g f facing north if you look at here f a g h are facing north only one option is there which is uh, h and question number 5 is in which of the following pairs c so if 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 you look at here uh if you identify d on the side there should be one option here none of these because what he is doing in this question is that he is taking the question as it is if he is saying c is sitting between d and g he is assuming d to be d and b he is assuming d to be here and b to be here which is not the right case even if it is it has been written in the solution of this and as b is sitting here it has been told that b is sitting opposite to g but from my experience this is absolutely wrong you have to take two cases so you always have to take two cases if none of these is not there as as in this case then you can assume th that d is here and b is here so if none of these option is not here then i am assuming that d is here and b is here so b and g would be opposite then in second question you will have to say that d is sitting on the right of c but this is not a right logic to do it you always have to make two different scenarios so these are the questions now similarly you can solve question number 6 that's not a problem once it has been identified that what needs to be done you can do question number 2 now solve this question question number 7 to 11 so okay i'm getting a lot of answers 7 8 9 i'm getting here okay i'm okay so a lot of people have given me answers for 7 8 9 now let me solve question number 7 8 9 for you five girls are sitting on a bench to be photographed seema is to the left of rani and to the right of bindu mary is to the right of rani rita is between rani and mary very very simple question no information has been given in which direction they have been uh, uh, facing so i will assume that they are facing north seema is to the left of rani so if this is rani 
this is left this is right so i will write here rani then seema would be on her left and to the right of bindu so here is bindu rita is bit, between rani and mary so here here is rita and here is mary because i cannot put rita somewhere here because already seema and 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 other other so who is sitting immediate to the right of rita immediate to the right of rita mary is sitting question 8 who is second from the left so from the left is this side so seema is second from the left so option is d now question number 9 uh, what's the answer question number 9 tells me who is in the middle of the photograph rani is in the middle of the photograph who is second from the right rita is second from the right okay question number 11 is all together a different question so you'll have to solve it solve question number 11 now Okay, what's the answer of question number eleven? Most of you are saying question number eleven. The answer is B. Okay, let me check. What is question number eleven? Yes, the answer is B. As most of you are getting it, let me not. Uh, waste time by solving these questions okay solve this question this is the last question after this question we will break for the day done only few people have replied so uh take some 2 3 more minutes solve question number 12 13 both okay two more minutes i'm not getting a lot of answers like i got in uh, the other questions question number 13 12 people are giving varied answer somebody is saying d b c every answer is there question number 13 i have only got 2 3 4 5 answers 13 a okay let me solve this question for you anyway what has been told in the question that uh, E F G H I J K L. It means that eight people are seated around a square table, two on each side. So here is the square table. E F G H I J K. so it's not actually in this order so there are three lady member they are not seated next to each other okay j is between l and f g is between i and f h is a lady member uh it's second to the left of j f is a male member um uh, which is seated opposite to e a lady member so how many of them are lady member i have identified h is a lady member i have also identified e is a lady member and there is a lady member sitting between f and i so that i'll get after um uh, uh putting out the sitting arrangement now try to understand it j is sitting between l and f so all the sides are same now on any side these two positions are different so try to understand i make different possibilities so if j is sitting here then l can be here f can be here if j is sitting here then l can be here and f can be here but you can say that if j is sitting between l and f why can't i interchange the places of l and f so for that i'll have to make 
two other possibilities and i am making those two other possibilities so for this first case when j is sitting here f can be here and l can be here and for this i am making a possibility here so which is like this that when j is sitting here l can be here and f can be here now i have four different cases in all four cases i try to identify which one is suitable for me and which one is not suitable for me so g is between i and f so g is between i and f so in this case g sits here i is here in this case g sits here i is here and in this case g sits here i is here in 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 this case g sits here and i is here now what has been told h is a lady member which is opposite to j now in this particular case already opposite to j i is sitting so this particular case is not accepted to me what about this case in this particular case also j is opposite to j i is sitting so this particular case is also not accepted to me so i have only two cases left out this and this which tells me that if j is here so what is opposite to j let me read it once more h is a no did i read something wrong h is a lady member which is sitting second to the left of j so i perhaps read the wrong thing one second guys question reading mistake in front of you i am making this mistake in exam also you can make this mistake i mean i i also used to make this h is a lady member who who is sitting second to the left of j so if j is here 1 2 this case is not possible this is left if somebody is facing center for j this will be left uh, sorry this will be right and this would be left so this is left so h is a lady member sitting to the left of j h can be here now for j again left would be here so uh, if you look at the second place here is not accepted so this is gone now h is a lady member what is left of j there is only there are two places left out now how many places are left out so this case is already rejected so uh, see in this case opposite to f h is sitting so this is not possible so i have only one case left out now so which is um uh um e f uh i j k is not here so i'll put k here so now let me find out the answer which among the following are three lady members so three lady members are two i have already identified h and e so the third lady member is sitting between f and i which is g so it comes out to be g is third lady member there is no such option here so answer would be none of these so this is my right answer now let me go to 13th question the 13th question tells me about which of the following is true about j so lady members are now finalized three lady members h e z so j is a male member that is correct position of j cannot be determined that is also wrong so e is the correct answer that j is a male member now question number 14 which of the following who who among the following is seated between e and h so between e and h between e and h k is sitting so answer would be none of these see here cannot be determined is there i am cutting this and i am writing it none of these when i send you the answer it will be corrected there so it will be none of these question number 16 what's the um, answer question number 16 is how many persons are seated between k and f so k and f from all three sides from sorry from all two sides um three people are seated so answer here would be three people 
now try to understand if there would have been a scenario where from this side two people would have been seated and from this side three people would have been seated the answer could have been can, cannot be determined i am taking option 3 here why because from both the sides three people are sitting over here so that is why answer is 3 remember i am again repeating if from left side and from right side number of people are different hence the answer would be cannot be determined in that case so this is what it is guys for to, from today's session i hope you understood everything if you have any doubt do get in touch with me so these sheets would be sent to you by 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 today night and uh, you can solve it at home with 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 answers i'll send it to you so that you can uh, do it at your place so i hope you understood the session and uh, i'm i'm getting doubts only for from one or two students um, i i do believe that most of you who are solving these questions also please don't leave the session now i am planning a test on 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 friday the coming friday so i'll publish the paper in class pro or in the group the paper test paper would be uh, given to you um, and you will have to send me the answers so one test would be planned this week coming week on friday sometime friday saturday sunday before the next class your test would be there i'll let you know the timing i'll let you know the format in which the test would be done mostly it will be a 50 question test because we have only done three topics or four topics so uh please send the answers uh to me and i let you know your answers this is very important to track your progress in 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 ntsc classes so uh, um that is how it is so thank you so much for joining the class and i hope uh, you enjoyed the class i hope everything uh, you could understand thank you so much thanks for joining the class